What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a review of the Dan Post Milwaukee... Didn't we do this once a few weeks ago already? No. This can't be right. What we got going on here? Let's, hold on. Oh, wait, here we go. There's something in here. Hold on. Hold on. That's it! Today we're talking cowboy boot socks. What, in my opinion at least, are the best socks to wear with your cowboy boots. We're also going to go over what types of socks you're um, looking for. Now, whenever you're looking for cowboy boots, uh, cowboy boot socks, I'm sorry, <laughs> cowboy boots, you're looking for cowboy boots. Whenever you're looking for cowboy boot socks, or socks to wear with them, there are a couple things you want to avoid. One is you want to avoid anything like an ankle sock or a no-show sock. Because what's going to happen is there's not enough elastic to hold that up on your leg. And it's going to creep down into your uh, the foot of your boot and be around your toes somewhere. And you don't want that. That's going to be very uncomfortable. Likewise, you don't want to wear dress socks with your cowboy boots because typically those are made very thin. So all this leather, after a few weeks of use, is going to make that thing look like Swiss cheese. Not, maybe not a few weeks, it might hold up a little bit longer, but your socks are eventually going to look like Swiss cheese if you go with a thin dress sock. And that's just no good. And if you guys are wondering, these are the Dan Post Milwaukee, like I had said at the beginning. I have reviewed them up, I'll link that video below. Now, what are the best socks? Or at least in my opinion, the best socks. These are my favorite socks that I have uh, worn and found work best for me. They're from a company called Cinch. And you're going to want to look for two types of socks. You're going to want a crew sock, like a tube sock, or you're going to want a boot sock. And I have a couple different colors here to show you from Cinch. Uh, they're all a little bit different as far as thickness goes. But you're going to want something basically that's going to come up your leg to protect you from the um, shaft of the boot. Because it's going to eventually, you're going to get a lot of irritation and stuff if you don't have that and you don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. <laughs> I've had that happen to me before. You also want something that's not gonna stretch out and get soggy by the end of the day. So you want something that's gonna have a nice firm hold on your foot. So you want elastic up here, good elastic up here, and you want good elastic down here, a good, nice, uh, firm, um, supportive hold around your foot. Now, the thing that I really liked about these is there is padding. In them and I'll show you here in a minute or here right now rather <laughs> not in a minute right now you can see the toes are black this part is gray this is like a mix of black and gray you got a little bit of gray here and you have black in the heel here and same thing with these uh, this other pair you have white you have blue you have white and it's just all white. And the green one, same way. Black, a little bit of green, black, green, black. A little bit of green right there, and then black in the heel. What this is doing is it's padding. So the toes are padded, right before your toes are padded. Your arch is padded, and your heel's padded. And that's going to provide a lot more support and a lot more comfort to you throughout the day. So not only are you getting the support and the comfort from your boots, but you're also getting double duty from your socks, which is great. And if you guys are wondering about the different colors, this is probably the thinnest pair. They're still padded, but this is the thinnest pair that I have. They're not exceptionally thin, but they are much, not quite as thick as this green pair. And this is probably my favorite pair, the uh, gray, gray and black. And also these ones have a little bit of elastic built into your arch too, so it really holds it onto your foot good. Now, price for these is gonna run you about 15 to $18. I bought these off Boot Barn, but I haven't seen them on their website lately. You can get them, uh, I'll link in the description below. I've seen them on Amazon. If I can find them, I'll do that, but I'll find somewhere you guys can get these. I know they still make them. I think they actually just reintroduced uh, new colors to their line and kind of did away with some other colors that they have. So I'm not even sure if these colors are still available that I have here, 
but they do still make the socks. And if you're wondering what kind of a company Cinch is, you see them in a lot of Western stores. You'll, um, you'll see jeans, their jeans are very popular, shirts, ball caps, socks, underwear. Just a big Western brand is what Cinch is. Now, another brand to look at is gonna be uh, Damn Post. Their boot socks, a lot of people do like them. I have not had any experience personally with Damn Post socks. I like their boots, but I haven't had any experience with their socks. But from reading and talking to other people, that seems to be one of the more preferred boot socks. And if you're wondering what the difference is between a boot sock and a crew sock or athletic sock, something like that, is this is gonna come well, you guys know how far this comes. It's about the same uh, length as a pack of Hanes socks you would get at Walmart, but much better made. <laughs> uh, it's gonna come almost up to your knee for the uh, boot socks. And those are supposed to be, they're not gonna ride down your leg at all. These are not either. I've had on like really long days where I've worn them. They might come down a wee little bit, but not, nothing major at all. I've been very satisfied with these socks ever since I got them. And like I said, they are hands down to me the best socks you guys can wear with uh, cowboy boots. They are my absolute favorite. I think they're my favorite pair of socks that I've ever owned, period, between these, dress socks, uh, Hanes socks, any of the brands you guys are going to get at uh, your big box stores. Hands down, the cinch socks are probably the highest quality socks I've ever owned, and they're definitely my favorite, most comfortable. I would definitely continue buying their socks. So that's about it, all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're wondering about the knife I was using to um, uh, point out on the sock, and if you look too, real quick, on the around the leg, there's some design too. This is like a digital design. This one's got some stripes. This one's got a little bit of a pattern going on there. But if you're wondering about the knife, it's a Spyderco Manix 2. I did an unboxing of this a couple videos ago, so I'll link that in the description below also. Please feel free to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. And let me know in the description below if you already have a favorite pair of uh, socks worth your boots. I want to know what that is. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Take care.